Hi friends, Chris here. I hope you all are doing well. Tonight is November 25th, 2020. It's the night before Thanksgiving. So, um, whether you celebrate it or not, happy Thanksgiving and, you know, hope all your family is well. Also, try to stay safe. I would suggest, even though it's a late reminder or suggestion, just, you know, spend time with people you live with. Don't travel. I know it's probably uh, a little late giving my advice and maybe some people don't care about that, but, you know, the coronavirus is serious and uh, I want you all to be okay. Okay, so um, I just wanted to do something. Well, I wanted to start something new tonight. Um, but before I get into that, I wanted to say I was planning to expand my YouTube channel a little bit. Um, I don't know how far I'll go with that. You know, I had some ideas, but then I don't think I'll do some of them. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. Um, and when I say expand, I don't know if I said beyond just strictly diamond painting stuff. So, uh, mostly it will still can consist of that. Um, one of the things I want to do that d is connected with dime painting is um, as far as whipping chats go you know I'm not somebody <laughs> listen I admit it I'm okay with it I'm okay with who I am I'm a, quite frankly I'm a fairly boring person I have a boring life so there's only so far I can take those whipping chats I only have a few in me probably because things don't really change with my with me um, even as far as unboxings as well, you know, I went a few, I've had so many late or the past had pet in the past few months because kind of, I was kind of using, uh, like the real t retail shopping, uh, to make me feel better. Um, so I can't keep doing that, you know, and I haven't really, so I don't, I'm not going to have tons of them either. But as far as the whipping chats go, um, I don't have many topics left that I'm going to be able to talk about. Um, by the way, sorry if this is shaking. I'm like literally almost on the, the iPad. It's an, I'm, By the way, I'm in my bedroom. This is my table. That's it. I have a table in my bedroom, a desk kind of table. Um, I have my diamond paintings stored on here. I don't actually diamond paint in this room. But this is where I have them all stored flat out to my unpainted ones. Um, so anyway, back to the open chat thing. I only have a few in me. Um, and I wanted to still add content because I, you know, with the, as far as unboxings and whipping chats, I wouldn't have nothing else to do. So I kind of wanted to reinvent the whipping chat a little bit or do it a little differently. I don't know. Again, I don't watch tons of people's content. I have some people I always watch um, and I've sampled other people as well, of course. Um, but I'm not like a full on completely 100% in the community where I know t a million different people or a million different channels and everything. So I don't know how it goes and I don't know if it'll work and I'm not going to really, I don't want to go too much into it um, because there might be an issue with what I want to do. So maybe in a week or two, I'm going to try it. I really actually was going to do it tonight, but then I decided to do this other thing instead. So I'm going to try it, see how it goes. I think it'll work sometimes, but not others. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, so I'll still be able to do kind of my version of a whip and chat. It'll be shorter and um, it'll be fun. So the other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do this months and months ago. Um, but since it's Thanksgiving tomorrow and... You know, it's time for giving thanks and being grateful for things. I wanted to kind of uh, piggyback on somebody else's content. Um, now, you know, when I growing up from, the, you know, there's this funny movie called Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Um, and also from um, the stand-up special I seen there is this drag performer called Miss Coco Peru I don't know if any of you know who she is um, I don't know how much 
you all know about, <laughs> I guess, drag queens or... I know RuPaul Drag, drag Race has now exploded, but... Um, so she had a small part in that movie and then you know she's kind of like a stand-up storytelling kind of person and she's hilarious i love her and so she has her own youtube channel um and so when the pandemic kind of hit and of course entertainers were really um affected by it and she's one of them of course uh she I guess added more to the, her YouTube channel. And so one of the things she did was she had this little decoration box. It looked, you know, probably this... See, I have it here. Something here is probably half the size. And on it, it said something similar. I kind of just find a different um, similar quote, but just written differently. And it said, enjoy the little things in life because one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And so she called her kind of series um, in solid, I think it was called, um, what was it? In S Solitude with Coco Peru, something along those lines. Um, not Solitude, I can't remember the name. I just looked at it too. Can you believe it? I forgot already? Um, so what it was, and this is what I'm going to do. I don't know how often I'm going to do it. I'm just not going to be on a schedule. Um, and I have to find things that mean a lot to me. Because what she did is she had, so she had this little box with this, you know, nice saying on it that she had gotten at a store. And she was like, well, this is kind of schmaltzy, but, and this is not really the kind of thing she does. And I'm kind of like that too, honestly. Um, but she kind of did like this one and she liked the message behind it. And so I plan on doing that too. So I'm going to every now and again show you all something in my life uh i guess possessions that i have that are kind of the little things you know things you don't really think of every day but they're actually mean a lot to you um like little mementos or you know, you know little knickknacks or you know memorabilia whatever you know you might have had and um that you know, brings memories and feelings. And so this is the first kind of episode I'm going to do of it. Um, like I said, I don't know. I'm not going to have a schedule of it. I'm going to do it whenever kind of I find something or the feeling comes upon me. Again, sorry for the shaking. It's like right next to me. And as I'm moving my arm, it's uh, shaking the, the image. So the first thing I want to show you today is this. And probably, honestly, <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm sure you're going to be like, oh, not again. But a lot of this probably will be connected kind of to my mom because, you know, she's always, she's basically the most important person in my life. So the first thing I want to show you that means a lot to me is this. And... These are base. I guess the way I look at it is basically things in my whole house that if I had to only keep a certain amount of things, what would I want to keep? Um, and I'd want to keep this. Now, this is something that I really don't plan on having any use for, probably. I don't, I don't know when I would. But I want to tell you the story behind this. So this is, uh, if you want to call it a game, it's, uh, it's right here. It says Rummy O. Um, we used to call it Remy Cube. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. I don't know really the origins of it or anything. But growing up, and as an adult too, but more growing up, I'll put it, this, um, it, it, we called it the tile game. Like I used to call it the tile game. My pet, my mom and, um, uh, family friend kind of thing um i used to call her aunt sarah she's my best friend my bff's uh nicole she was her grandmother and is her grandmother she's still alive sorry <laughs> um so w during the summers i used to see my friend best friend nicole really i didn't see her a lot through that the year but i would see her because her parents were divorced and she lived with her mom and her dad lived close to me so I would, but she would be, like kind of usually spend the summer with him. And so I used to spend the summer, most of the whole summer, you know, over at their house place. And uh, so my mom would always come, of course, and her and my aunts and Aunt Sarah, 
uh, would a lot of times play this, and it's uh, something I actually like playing, and I would and I would want to get involved too. And I, I don't, I'm sure Nikki probably played with us too, um, and I love playing it. I'm not going to go into how it's played, but you know, it has. Well, actually, you know what? I will tell you. Why not? Um, you know, has these four boards, and you have these tiles. That's why you used to call it the tile game. And they have um, red, green, black, and blue um, numbers on it. And so you had to... Uh, you had to... You can, like... How you do is bef before you can put, so you'd have your little board here, and then you'd have to pick like I think like fourteen or fifteen tiles, and then uh, you'd have to arrange them. Now you can put like um, six, seven, eight, four, four, and four. So you know either the same or ascending numbers, um, and you'd have to in different um, different lines. And so, and it had to add up to 50 before you could actually put it out into the table. And then you could, then when, you know, then you can play off of other people. So then you pick a tile, you pick a tile, uh, well, you put it out. And then if someone else put it out, then you'd look on your board to see what you have left. And you could either add to the other persons from the stuff you had, from the number, uh, from whatever numbers were in your uh, tile, or you could, um, you could add, add to it, or you could split them up. So, if, let's say you put one, two, three, four, five, six out, you could actually, like, say you, you could split up one, two, and move it, and then put uh, one of your threes over there. Anyways, and you, you know, that's basically the, th the thing, and it, it's a really fun game. Uh, let me show you if I could find it. I thought I seen it, but um, so that that's why this me this game means a lot to me is because you know when I used to go over there we used to spend of course me and Nikki used to spend a lot of time playing together, but you know uh, so we did play this, and of course the adults always played it a lot of times, and. Um, this was my mom's set, and we used to play it at home too sometimes. I used to get it out and want to play. And uh, I always used to love these. These are the little. Oops. Let me see. I can't get it. Oh, there it is. Doo -doo. The little sun face. And this is like, I guess. I don't know many card games. Would this be considered a wild card or a joker? I don't know, or something like that. Anyways, this you could use for any color or any number, you know, if you needed to, you know, put it out there. Anyways, <laughs> I know I'm kind of, that was probably boring. I'm trying to explain to you the, the way it's played. Uh, that's not the point of this. The point was telling, just telling the basic story of... And a lot of, believe me, a lot of these videos are going to be a lot shorter than this one was. This was just like the intro video um, with what this is about and other stuff. So, and so I just wanted to tell you, you know, this is a, even though this isn't something I use or I really have use for right now, um, this having, just owning this still means a lot to me. And it's not something I can merely be displayed or anything, but because it does bring back a lot of memories of playing it. And, you know, it was a very good time. It was happy times. And, you know, with my mom, with Aunt Sarah, with Nikki. You know, so I'm really grateful to still have this. I'm grateful for the memories. And, um,. That's it. So, like I said, I will, um, I'll post this and then I have a couple other things in mind that I'm going to show you that mean, of uh, things that mean a lot to me. Um, again, I don't know how many, I, I don't have a lot of what I would call, 
I don't have a, like I have items that b maybe bring memories or whatever, but nothing that like the little things that <laughs> are the, really the big things. I don't have a ton of those, I don't think. But I have to kind of look throughout, you know, my room and my house and see what exactly, you know, I, our treasure, my treasures, basically. What are your treasures? Um, you should look through your, your, you know, look through your your things and what are the little things that mean, you know, stuff important things to you. Um, because. The little things really are the big things. Because it's what holds our memories and usually their happiness and the fond people we love. Alright, I guess enough of that. I'm kind of just babbling on now. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do a better job in this video. This was kind of, like I said in the beginning, it's a little of an impromptu thing. I didn't really intend to do this tonight. But, because I've been putting it off and putting it off. And, by the way, the, the whole Coco Brew thing, she had done this like six months ago and she did it like about 55 60 um episodes or if you want to call them episodes of uh things that she showed us um i'm probably i'm not going to get anywhere near that but she'd done that all those months ago when the um uh when the coronavirus first came out and uh quarantines and you know, stay at home things were first in effect. So that's when she started doing it. And I, not long after, I figured it, I thought, you know what, I should try that too. But, you know, me being my lazy self, I put it off so far. And then when I was Thanksgiving, I'm like, well, this is the perfect time, you know, being thankful. So, again, sorry for the ramble. Uh, I'll do better next time, I promise. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you'd enjoy, uh, I hope you enjoy this new, um, addition to my channel I'll, like i said i'll try to do better next time um and i'll bring you something i hope great all right <laughs> thanks so much uh stay safe and be happy bye everybody thanks for watching